And we start first with the woman at the center of the so-called Black Swan murder trial taking the stand, giving emotional testimony as she explains why she had no choice but to shoot and kill her husband. This is 10 Tampa Bay at 6. I'm Courtney Robinson. I'm Josh Sador with Dave and Carolina are out tonight. This case is playing out in a Bradenton courtroom, but it is making national headlines, even being featured in an episode of CBS's 48 Hours. Former ballerina Ashley Benefield is charged with second-degree murder in the 2020 shooting. 10 Tampa Bay's Adore Chumba has been following the proceedings for days now. Adore joins us. She's sharing her story publicly. That's right, and today was the first time jurors got to hear from Ashley Benefield about what happened on that fateful day in September 2020. Now, she's always maintained that her deadly actions were in self-defense and that she was in fear of her husband, who she says was abusive. I was scared to death. I, I thought he was going to kill me. There was nowhere to go. I was trapped. In my own house, he wouldn't let me leave. A tearful Ashley Benefield telling jurors what happened on September 27, 2020. While moving some items at her mom's home, she said Dog Benefield started a fight. She told him to leave, but then said he hit her with a moving box. Fearing for her life, Ashley says she grabbed her gun. He started coming towards me, and then he lunged at me, and I started pulling the trigger. And he just kept coming. And I remember trying to move to get away from him, but he kept coming at me. Family members of Douglas Benefield in court hearing Ashley's testimony. The victim's daughter later walking out. Can you tell us how many shots you fired? I have no idea. I was in a panic. As you sit here today, Ashley, how do you feel about what happened? Horrible. Father of my child. On cross examination, the prosecution probing further. So you start shooting, and he does what? He kept coming at me. Okay, so then you keep shooting again, and he falls down on his back. His legs went up in the air. Okay, where do his legs go? In the air. How high in the air? I don't know. Do they go over his head? I don't know, it's like his feet slipped out. Okay. And, were and you his feet and his legs went up in the air. And were you still shooting at the time? I don't remember. And prosecutors say Doug Benefield was unarmed and wasn't a threat at the time that he was killed. They insist, insist rather, that a custody battle over their then two-year-old daughter was at the center of their tussle. Now, if convicted, Ashley Benefield faces 25 years to life in prison. In studio, Aduria Chumba, 10 Tampa Bay. You can stay up to date on the trial and see the evidence laid out over the last week. Download our free 10 Tampa Bay app.